It looked like Geeter back in the day. It did. It did. <laughs> Feels similar. <laughs> Guys. Yeah. It was a great night for Laker shooting guard, Wes Laker Matthews. Shooting. Wes Matthews. 18 points. He's with Russ. Hey, Wesley. So you took six shots tonight off from three-point range, and you made six shots tonight off from three-point range. How unusual was that, and how good do you feel about yourself after a game like that? How unusual was it? Um, I don't know. I feel like I can get hot. I feel like I should make every shot that I shoot, so I won't say it's unusual. Um, I'm definitely grateful for my teammates, credit to my teammates, coaching staff, um, being consistently supportive and consistently optimistic. Um, obviously, I didn't start the season out shooting the way that I would like to from behind the arc or this period. So to have a game like this, uh, it feels great, but it feels even better to to win. So unusual, I don't know, but uh, you know, I'm grateful for the, for the for the night and the moment. Oh, you're being humble. Six for six from three point range. That, that's pretty impressive. Uh, how, how cool is it to see LeBron James score uh, double digits for 1,000 consecutive games, extending already what what is an NBA record? Yeah, I, we just I just found out about that. Now that's it's a disgusting statistic. Um, it's awesome. Um, you know, the guy that is that has done so much for this league, so much for the game, on and off the court. To uh, I mean, a milestone like that, some people never reach a thousand games. Period. You know, and for him to be the be the focal point of every defensive strategy. Um, you know, you look at a guy like that. There's nobody in the game that has been game planned against more than him, and has had more success against each game plan. So, uh, I mean, that's just a credit to him, credit to his work, and uh, you know, it's awesome to be a part of. You know, unusual road trip for you guys. You stay for another couple nights in San Antonio. It's not the playoffs. Does it feel weird to you to, to stick around the same city for, for a few days now? Everything feels weird right now. <laughs> I don't think there's any kind of normal right now. So uh, everything's going to be a day-by-day -day, um, situation, um, an opportunity to get better, opportunity to learn, opportunity to adapt. And uh, that's going to be the, the key to the season is who can adapt, who can get comfortable in uncomfortable situations. Six and eight. Dennis Schroeder, 21, 9 of 15. Anthony Davis, 28 and 2. Wes Matthews, 6 for 6 from 3 for 18. Let's hear from the Lakers head coach, Frank Vogel. He's speaking with Mike in the media on Zoom. Hey, Frank, it was another really efficient offensive night, another night uh, really efficient from three, I suppose, part, thanks in part to Wesley Matthews. But uh, what do you think has been behind the offense just starting off the season so well when a lot of times it seems like defense uh, kicks the season off? Yeah, I mean, I think we're just we're, we're playing intelligent offensive basketball. You know, we're we're really attacking, and um, you know, with the exception of some stretches of the Portland game, you know, we're really thinking uh, extra pass basketball, and and we got a lot of shot makers on this team. So, you know, if uh, if you're fo focusing on uh, shot quality and and the extra pass with the shot makers we have on our team, uh, we're going to have the ability to be efficient, and um, you know, we saw that for four quarters tonight. And any thoughts specifically on Wesley, uh, who had had the the tough couple of games shooting prior to this one? Yeah, well, we, we, you know, we don't we don't worry about Wes. You know, uh, we know what he's he's done throughout his career. Uh, you know, he's a knockdown shooter and a great defender, and uh, you know, just excited that he's in the Lakers uniform and and what kind of lift he's going to give us throughout the year. Um, struggled a little bit, you know, as as we're you know playing a lot of guys and trying to get guys in rhythm. Uh, you know, the first few games, but but tonight, again, the ball movement was really good, so we got a few clean looks early, and, um, you know, then he made a, made a couple of shot fake step backs, you know what I mean, which is uh, something he's capable of, but, uh, you know, red hot tonight. Kyle? Um, Frank, you've talked before about, um, you know, how tough it is for you as a coach to to find minutes for everybody that you think could could play in the rotation belt in the sense of getting guys to touch the ball on offense and getting guys shots is that also kind of a struggle to kind of make sure that hey so and so is getting enough touches so and so is getting enough touches and, and getting looks in you know given stint yes uh it, it can be a challenge and um you know that's part of a new group learning about each other you know what i mean we're working four new players in five if you if you count Talon and uh, the guys were not really part of the rotation last year, and um, you know there's always going to be uh, a little bit of a learning curve with guys uh, learning learning each other. But again, like if you continue to focus on uh, you know the the shot quality and the man with the basketball thinking, set up a teammate. 
you know, that's that's what our whole focus is, is, is to think extra pass uh, with the ball. And the ball finds energy, it starts moving around the, the horn and, um, you know, finds the open man. So typically if we're moving the ball well, you know, the guys will find shots enough. Uh, let's go, Brad. Frank, um, when you guys turn the ball over like 17 times, are there moments where you think to yourself we could really use a good practice, shoot the rounds, so we can clean this stuff up? Not really. You know what I mean? I, I think most most teams when they get into the uh, you know the heart of the season, there's not a lot of practice time anyway. It's it's just challenging your guys to be better, uh, understanding you know where where teams are going to force turnovers and you know, uh, minimizing the times that they're self-inflicted, you know, and they're, they're unforced, you know, that's what you want to stay away from. Uh, so it's really just kind of coaching the guys, you know, we, we don't really try to uh, concentrate on things we can't control, right? You know, I mean, if we, we can't get on the floor because of, uh, because of the rapid test in the morning um, or for whatever reason, like that's just out of our control, you know, so, uh, you know, it's not really my thought process uh, in game. Yovan. Hey, Frank, uh, you, you've talked a lot about experimenting with, with lineups and rotations. Um, you went with the different closing lineup tonight with, with the starters and, and then Keith at the big. I'm um, curious what you thought about that lineup over the last you know, final few minutes of the game. Well, that's, that's a lineup, you know, that I don't need to learn anything about. Um, you know, I know Keith and, and AD and Braun, uh, you know, I just won a championship, you know, with the, with the lineup of uh, two guards and those three guys. So it's just something I have, I have a lot of confidence in, um, you know, but, it, you know, the rhythm of the game dictates, you know, what's necessary to the matchups, uh, you know, who's been in, who's been out, keep it been in. You know, we could have gone uh, back with Mark. You know, I, I like I still like Trez being in there. Uh, Mark had been sitting for a while. Uh, Keith had just come out, so we just went with a warm guy. Um, and again, but AD at the five, Keith at the four, Brown and, and two guards, the lineup that, that uh, you know, we know works for us. Hello and welcome to Access Sportsnet Lakers, driven by your Southern California Honda dealers, Chris McGee, James Worthy, Robert Ory, Allie Clifton's going to join us in a minute. We got Trudell and Bresnahan working virtually, working the locker rooms. We'll get all the sound for you. The Lakers start their first road trip of the year and the final game of 2020 with a win in San Antonio. Big game, Rob. They shot 54% from three. They built up that eight-point lead at the end of the first and really kind of cruised from there. Yeah, they corrected the, the loss. I think they corrected with a, with a fresh start. Um, you know, San Antonio without one of their key players and the Lakers made sure they took care of that early. AD a little bit more active er early in the game. Uh, you know, LeBron James doing what he does. Uh, Shooter is going to be a, a, a factor. And tonight, uh, Matthews, uh, we saw what he can do. 18 points. I don't think he missed a three. So imagine what that could be like. And I think, uh, you know, they did what they had to do against a team that was uh, a little bit weak tonight. Yeah, Rob, six more guys in double figures. Again, they go over 120. The offense, not going to be the issue. Oh, yeah, the offense wasn't the issue. Tonight. You had the birthday boy going out doing his thing. But, you know, I like the aggressiveness as, as of Montrez. I like the aggressiveness of, of, of Gasol. All these guys were doing their thing in the paint. And sometimes this, everybody wants to shoot threes. But when you have guys like this, sometimes you need points in the paint for a while. The Spurs was killing them with points in the paint, but they caught up. They show you the aggressiveness. They start going to the basket and not just settling for threes. All right, let's hear from LeBron. He's with Mike Trudell. All right, there he is, the birthday boy, LeBron. First of all, just happy birthday, man. No, I appreciate it. Appreciate it. <laughs> uh, by the way, so coming this close to Christmas, do you get the short end of the stick on the uh, present end there, LeBron? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, uh, you get like one shoe on Christmas and then get the other shoe on, on your birthday. So they spread <laughs> it out. <laughs> uh, hey, man, you, you've talked so often about, you know, the kid from Akron, about how far you've come. And I just figure with another uh, birthday like this in, into context, you uh, you scored double digit points for a 1000th straight game, continuing that record. How do you just put this career, put this whole life into perspective? Um, I mean, it's just too hard to do it at this point, um, at this moment. Um, I, I just try to live in the moment and just try to continue to get better uh, with my game, try to get better with my teammates, um, and try to, uh, you know, just maximize when I'm out on the floor. So I've been very blessed to play the game that I love at this level for 18 years, and hopefully I can continue to play at a high level. All right, for tonight's game, I know you guys make it a focus not to lose back-to-back -back games. What was the key today in taking control of this one? 
Uh, I mean, we knew we was going against a very good team. Uh, they do a great job of uh, getting into the paint. They do a good job of uh, shooting the three ball, sharing the ball. So, you know, we just want to try to get multiple stops in a row. And uh, we got a hell of a boost from our bench. Um, uh, Wes uh, came in and shot the hell out of the ball. So, you know, that was exceptional. Uh, Trez got on the offensive rebound. And, uh, so our bench did a heck of a job of giving us a boost tonight. You mentioned Wesley Matthews, six for six from three. Two other Lakers have hit at least that many threes and not missed. Kobe and Nick Van Exel, uh, so pretty good company. Uh, you just got to get keep giving the guy the ball, right? It's pretty simple when they're shooting like that. No, absolutely. Um, you know, and he, and he had it going, and you saw this. So, you know, every time you know we knew he was open, or even when he created some space off the dribble, he was able to knock it down. So we just continued to find him. All right, last thing for you. I know things are a little bit restricted. LeBron, of course, uh, with the pandemic and everything, but any kind of birthday plans with the teammates back at the hotel? Uh, yeah, well, I mean, we'll probably just drink some wine. Um, I know that's what I'm going to do, so my teammates are always welcome. Uh, you know, get something to eat, uh, drink some wine, and, uh, you know, start preparing for, for the game on the first. So, uh, you know, it's not the... Uh, it's not the birthday celebration that I would like, but I love a win. I love to play this game at a high level. So I'll take that, and I'm with my teammates, so I'll take that as well. All right, LeBron, happy birthday once again. Happy 36. We appreciate the time. I uh, appreciate you guys. All right, happy birthday, LeBron James, getting buckets. Check this out. 1,000 straight games with 10 points. The last time he was less than 10 was January 5th, 2007.